Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog uh, from MTM Bills Reviews and Vlogs. So recently we purchased a GoPro 7. It's the entry level model, as you can see from here. Um, when you get the GoPro 7, it comes with no accessories apart from a little clip here, which will clip into your accessories. And you get two of these mounted accessory points, which have got a sticky back plastic to it. Fantastic bit of kit. The reason we've got it is we wanted it for doing like our action shots, um, stuff like um, like if we're going out for a drive, we wanted to do um, films of the, where we're going to, where we're out and about. We like to travel, me and MZ. Um, we go places and, you know, sometimes it's not always practical to keep holding your mobile phone like that all the time. So we thought we'd invest in one of these. We're quite new to all this, and so we thought we'd get ourselves a accessory pack. We didn't want to spend a lot of money to start with, because obviously if we break it or if we uh, misuse it, and we spent say 50 to 100 pound on an accessory, we thought, no, we'll just start with a, a basic accessory pack, get used to how it works, how it feels, um, stuff like that. Um, so really what I'm going to do is go through the accessory pack we've received today. Um, it is available on Amazon. We will try and put a link in at the bottom here um, for you to have a look at at the end. Really hope you enjoy this vlog. Hope it brings something to you and hopefully we can do some other vlogs in the future where they can help before you go and purchase something. Thank you for watching. So this is the parcel we received today uh, from Amazon. Um, quite nicely well done so when you open it up you get this black case with it all in, included um, nice case hardish shell case I would say um, wipe clean very nice got a little handle there two sip compartment um, so let's open it up So as you can see, all comes individually bagged. You've got your little silicone um, pouches there. And this is a, a newer 50 in one action accessory kit. Okay, so you also get a customer service sheet there with a QR scan at the bottom, just to be able to contact them if you have any issues. And in here tells you everything you're going to get. Okay, so I'll just run through it with you quickly. I will try and put a copy of this into the comments below. So you get the carry case. You get a chest strap, head strap, wrist strap, floating handle, suction cup, clamp, selfie stick, mini tripod, wrist strap, uh bicycle handlebar mount adjustable pivot arm part adjustable pivot again screw two screws a surface j hook buckle a curved mount helmet strap helmet extension arm wrench flat mounts anti-fog sheets adhesive pads uh, strap buckle another strap buckle and a pouch so we're just going to go through everything this is all new to us, so you'll see it as we're doing it. So this is the wristband that come with the kit. Nice bit of kit there, very well made, feels strong. The actual brackets feel quite nice. So with this, what you have to do then, you have to remove your GoPro from its own stand, and then you place it onto there. I'm using the actual GoPro bolt which goes through but I believe this kit does come with a couple of spare ones tighten it up so I must admit for the price we paid for this I was expecting it to be quite cheap and kind of you know I wasn't expecting it to be that fantastic but I'm you know quite a biggish guy I've got this band on Oh, nice felt quote. Well. 
make sure I'm nice and comfy. I don't want to be walking around with uh, in pain. Very nice bit of kit. And I can talk to myself like that. <laughs> so that is the arm buckle. Okay, so we've opened up the next little packet. And in this one, you get your handlebar clamp. Um, don't worry, this is supposed to do that. It's an adjuster so you can actually get it onto the handlebar. And then you've got your little clamp here. And again, it feels really good for a budget um, accessory pack. It all feels really strong. Um, obviously, you put that on your handlebar and then you put your camera in there, just like so. And then use your, I would use my own bolt, but you've got these two spare ones. You've also got these, which are called adjustable pivot arms. So you've got two types there, and then you've got your different bolts there. If you got really, really stuck looking at it, and I'm only just looking at this briefly, you could use that as a, like a little stand, maybe, potentially. I don't know, but it's there. I was looking at this just now, and I was thinking, these are quite handy for extending up to make your GoPro maybe sit a little bit higher up on your bars, potentially. I don't know, but yeah, really nice. The plastic in these feels really strong. I, I'm putting quite a bit of force there, you know, um, and it's not, you know, feels really, really good. So yeah, so that's one accessory there. Okay, so in the next packet, we had the clamp, crocodile clamp. Great bit of kit. Uh, again, very strong, sturdy plastic. Doesn't feel like it's going to break easily. Um, I've just connected up the GoPro um, just so it makes it a little bit easier. I guess this clamp would be great for if you're doing shots of like um, out and about, like for argument's sake, I'm a mechanic and I'm doing a bit of work underneath the car. I might want to clamp this to a part of the bodywork or something like that. In this occasion, I'm going to try doing it onto this table. This is quite a thickish table, but I'll give it a go. And you can see there, you, you know, obviously I don't want to play about with it too much because I have, there we go, let's get it in there properly. But again, you've got your clamp there for your um, camera. Again, very nice bit of kit. And that is the clamp. Okay, guys, so this is the suction cup. Really good quality, very sturdy. I just tested it on my kitchen window just to see if it actually sticks, and it does. Um, again, very nice bit of kit. So on this one, you've already got the clamp piece in there. So what you can do is push your GoPro into it. Still getting used to this, so bear with me a second. There we go. So your GoPro's in there, like so. You've got your different pivot for different angle. You can move it back and forth. And then when you actually got it into the onto the window, you use this and push forward and that will lock it into place. Again, very nice piece of kit. It does work. I have used it on a window indoors. And yeah, very nice bit of kit. As you can see, pivots. Strong plastic, well built. So guys, we got this um, pack and I've just opened it up. This is your accessories pack. This is the stuff that you use to get better angles on bits and pieces. So like for argument's sake, your chest cam, you would use one of these. Um, it would give you, um, it's a clamp basically for this. Um, and then you put it into your chest cam. Um, you've got, for the selfie sticks you've it's just accessories for the actual clamps themselves just thought i'd open them up but that's how they come in the packet okay so the next packet we had as you can see i've left the accessory packet out because i'm going to need that quite a bit over the next couple of items i believe so this is the helmet strap okay um what i found with this when i've just opened it up that the, there's some friction with the uh, attachment um, so what I've done is I have got MC's nail file and all I've done is I've literally taken off a little bit of the shine on the inside 
not a lot just a couple of little scratches across it um as you can see it hasn't done any damage to the actual item itself and all i did was i gave the surface just to take the shine off you know like the initial kind of rack stuff whatever they put on there so what you do you connect this up into the slot as you can see goes in there nice and freely now then you've got your extension which then goes on to there so we use a little bolt to and then you've got your arm there then what you do is you can either go directly with your GoPro on the end of that one like that or you can if you want to use another extender and put it on but I would probably myself if I was uh, using it like that is put your GoPro on the end like so and tighten it up okay and that is that one there okay so the next thing we had is the tripod okay very light very um you think to yourself mm, is it actually going to do the job but actually it's pretty good so with this one you've got nice flexy legs so like that you can do it depend how you want it you can do it like that I think you kind of get the gist. The accessory that you would need for this one is this one here, as it's got the little bolt on the end. And then on there, what you do, you just tighten that up. And again, you can pivot it how you want it, like so. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my GoPro into that. And then I can angle it. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Nice bit of kit. Very nice. Like I say, feels really lightweight, um, but don't let that put you off. It The quality's still there. Okay. Okay, so the next little package we opened up was the floating grip. Okay, so this is great if you're going to go to water parks and places like that. So you get your strap put it around your arm okay so what i would do is put your strap in there i believe that is how it goes yeah so you put your strap in there so it feeds just like that then you get your gopro slot it in there again use your bolt And there you go that is your floating buoyancy aid so this one is great if you're down the swimming pool or if you're um, at water park somewhere like that um, again very lightweight you know um, but yeah very sturdy um, yeah so nice little bit of kit so now we have the traditional selfie stick <laughs> okay guys so this one it's quite a nice long one okay it's also got a screw end on the end but what we're doing it, it it is what it says on the tin it's a selfie stick really um clip in this attachment there clip your gopro in there There you go, guys. Your selfie stick. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so yeah, um, very nice bit of kit again. Okay. So next in the collection, we had the chest um, cam. Okay, I've got the beautiful MZ here now. Hi. And he's going to model that for you. So as you can see, it's on a little pivot on the front, so you can angle it. Um, we've had to use one of these attachments here to do it. But again, 
Um, that is the chest cam. And that's what it looks like on the brochure. Okay. Okay. So next we're on to the head cam. So this is the head strap here. Okay. You know when you see the fishermen and um, like cavers and that, and they've got like the um, torch on their head. So basically, similar kind of process. Just inside the strap, as you can see, it's got like a silicone-y kind of uh, grip just there, which is that shiny. So it helps to stick to the head better. You've got your adjusters at the side, which again, help you to adjust the size that you want it to. Okay, I'm going to try and model this, so don't laugh, please. <laughs> So I'm just going to adjust it a second, make sure it will fit my big old nut. Mm. So obviously when you adjust it, you know, um, that's how it looks on. Um, also, what I'm going to show you now is the second part. It, this is for the remote control. So if you're lucky enough to have the GoPro remote, this is basically a strap to be able to strap it onto your arm. A um, bit like a watch, really. But I thought I'd show you that at the same time because um, I haven't got the remote control. Obviously, that's something that you know maybe in time we might get. But again, you use one of these clamps. Sorry, they no, don't. You just use the GoPro, stick it in there. Use one of your bolts. And away you go. Okay, so that is your head clamp. Okay, so we've come to the next parcel that we had within the pack. Um, and basically, all it is is kind of semi-permanent clamps. Um, so you've got your 3M self-adhesive. And I'll tell you what, this is it just shows you the quality of this item. 3M, you know, you know they're not cheap self-adhesives. They could have quite easily have used cheap adhesive pads but they haven't they've used 3m which is really good sign of you're getting quite a good quality product for a budget price um so again you just use these and stick it onto the back of the mounts and basically these are like kind of permanent mounts that you can use you know um say for argument's sake you're a bit of a car flogger or something like that you can position this in different areas of the car and then you can do your camera work um again yeah very nice bit of kit Okay, so we're at the final part of this uh, 50 pit kit. So basically, your last bit is a little, feels like it's waterproof pouch. Um, so, as you can see, yeah, real, real, quite well built, you know, no stitching issues or anything. Um, so that would really be for if you're out and about on your push bike or um, whatever and you don't want to carry all your accessories you know but you do want to carry some you can put them into the little pouch also is these um these are anti-fog sheets basically i don't really want to open them up yet because obviously i don't want to open them up to the elements but yeah that's what that is is the anti-fog and that is the end of it um it is a 50 piece kit um so obviously that includes all your bolts and stuff so you know it is a really, really good startup kit. It cost us £20.99 from Amazon. I will put a link in at the end. But like I say, it for value for money, I well, I'm I've gobsmacked. Um, you know, it it's really, really good. If you're starting out with the GoPro, um it's oh yeah, I just think it's a really good bit of kit. Um and again, you know. You know, mz has been taking the mickey out of me, saying it's a good bit of kit all of the way through, but it generally is a good bit of kit. So guys, if you like that vlog and you want to see more, please like and subscribe our channel. That's MZ and Bill's Reviews and Vlogs. Thank you for watching today and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.